I hit the fucking button. I'm saying we come in here every fucking week and we've been working harder and harder to pound this shit out. Pause. And this week, I'm a little rushed. So I'm going to hit the intro now. Dude, I told you to hit the intro like five fucking minutes ago. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Turn it up. Turn it up. Jesus Christ. Tired of hearing you. I want to hear this. And I'm sick of this shit. Okay? Just let it play. This is the Hype Podcast. I am the host with no name. I'm DJ Oso Fresh. And we're kicking it with you every single week right here on the Hype. And according to you, normally I tell the people we're going to have a fantastic show. But no, according to you, we're a little bit rushed today. And we're just going off the cuff. Yeah, we're just going off the cuff. We're just going to make shit up. I mean, really, I, 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 I just wanted to say, hey... That's all I got to say. You I'm saying, I'm here to say, hey, it's a 30 second fucking show. Yeah, I just saved you like 29.5 fucking minutes because usually um, Dude, I'm like, hey, you are so let's talk. full of shit. What? You're full. You're full of shit. We're talking about the the economy situation today. We're talking about the insanity going on in sports, the Portland Portland Trailblazers specifically. Uh, we're going to talk about some new HIV drugs, which we all need to know about because. It's- that oh, why do we all? Why do we all need to know about them? Is that something that we we all have? <laughs> I, I I don't have. We, I have we no, didn't go to Coachella, I, I, so we might be fine. I'm not having problems with having unprotected sex. So I don't know. I mean, I, I mean, I don't know what kind of drug you need. I mean, you are out there with all the fucking lot lizards and shit. That is true. But also today on the hype, we are going to talk about things falling out of the sky and i'm not talking about rain i'm not talking about rays of sunshine i'm talking airplanes and that shit is fucking scary but before we get into all that check us out on facebook.com forward slash the hype podcast leave us a message leave us a comment or you can just call us up 503-776-0167 leave us a message tell us what you think and uh if you don't tell me what you think tell diesel fresh no, I gotta say, Diesel Fresh, he, he he took the fucking week off. I mean, I got enough. I got I got tired of getting shit about fucking Diesel Fresh. I mean, first <laughs> first motherfuckers was creaming their panties over Diesel Fresh, and they're like, "That's too much." And then I said, "You can't get too much of a good thing, baby. <laughs> you just can't." <laughs> so, <laughs> I almost choked on my water. Anyway, just now. anyway, Pause. anyway. So, what the fuck is going on in your world over there? Because you're in what? Uh, walking in Memphis, dude. Uh, I'm I'm actually sweating. I've been sweating like the past fucking four days because it's all humid here and shit. And uh, I'm thoroughly disappointed. I really expected uh, some tornado style weather in the Midwest because it's like tornado season. And I'm in Tornado Alley. And I haven't even seen a cool fucking storm. You know what it's been? It's been sunshine. Aren't, it. Don't you drive one of those tall ass Euro vans? Aren't those the first ones to go in a fucking uh, I, in a tornado? I, I, I drive what I like to call the sailboat of the freeway. So if there is any wind, any wind whatsoever, like I am off to the races. Dude, you know those, um, what are they called? Wind surfing? <laughs> off to the racist. <laughs> yeah, wind windsurfing. You you ever seen those windsurfers or yeah. like those parasailers that they have a surfboard attached to their feet in a fucking parachute? That's me on the freeway. If I catch any little bit of wind, dude, I'm just out of there. See, it, it's fucking ridiculous. See, um, and I I'd also like to bring up that um, I heard some sad news yesterday. What's that? That the the horse cheated at the Kentucky Derby. How the fuck do you cheat? What? Yeah. What? The, the winner of the Kentucky Derby was disqualified for fucking cheating. I don't have all the, I don't do have all cheat? the details. Look it up. You got a fucking phone. If you can get to a goddamn podcast, you can get to a fucking you can Google <laughs> why it happened. If you can get to a podcast, you can get to a phone. I, I don't know what that means. If I Dude, can do what? it, you can do it. You ever see you know those uh, like those college those those uh those fucking uh uh, uh those fucking with super expensive college things. If I can do it, you can do it. You just sounded like that dude from the ShamWow commercial, but wait, there's more. There's more. <laughs> <laughs> there's always dude, more. Dude, how do you... I am I want your pure speculation with no science, no fact behind this. How do you fucking cheat in a horse race? Is it PEDs, performance-enhancing drugs? What, what, what do they do? What do I you think? I don't know. I mean, because they're horses. Like, not like you have time to trip another horse. 
<laughs> what are you gonna, what are you gonna do? Or then you, was you it like an old, or you, you walk out and you just yell, "Break a leg!" And, and that's that's cheating. Is that like we're was yelling it like fire in a crowded Tunes building? Cartoon? Was it old, like an old Looney Tunes cartoon that they put the fishing line in front of the starting gate of all the other horses and they all just tripped on their way out? That sounds so cruel. I know. That's what I'm saying. What, just, what did it, they do? Po- poison the other jockeys? Did they poison them? Is that like, oh, here's your pre-race meal? It, 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 okay, stop, stop. Here's what happened. I mentioned it on the show, and then you pulled up Google, and you looked it up, and you figured it out for your fucking self. <laughs> That's what the fuck just happened. <laughs> No, I'm, no, I'm <laughs> That's what the fuck you. happened yesterday at the Kentucky Derby. But you know what? I am tired of fucking around with you in the best way. Pause on that. It's time for the five minutes of funk. Wow. And I can't hear shit. I can't. You broke it, dude. I you can't. and your new fucking toys over there. You can't even keep your shit straight. It shit just doesn't work. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Jesus. Now that he finally got it working, first up in the world of sports, we had an NBA classic just the other day, quadruple overtime for the Portland Trail Blazers and the Denver Nuggets. Now, I got to ask you, Fresh, how much gas do these two teams have left? What do you think? Well, I think, you know, on these two teams, as long as everybody stays healthy, games will be played. Now, actually, I I would like to see the Blazers go to the Western Conference Finals and take on the the, the Warriors, and that would be exciting. That'd be great for my city. We haven't seen anything like that since the freaking jail Blazers. I mean, rest in peace. Well, not rest in peace. They're still alive, but to to all all those. I mean, we're talking about we had somebody on our team that tried to use his rookie card as his driver's license. And we had somebody on our team who tried to sneak weed onto an airplane post 9-11 in aluminum foil. Yeah, I think um, I think we're we're doing all right out here in Portland. I shout out to Damian Lillard because if you're you're a longtime listener of the show, we used to act like we hated his ass, like because he wouldn't come on here. I've never really been in contact with the man. I, I mean, I've seen him face to face outside, but I, I I don't really know the man. He's doing he's doing God's work right now for the Portland Trail Blazers, and I, I I'm extremely proud of that. Next up, we got politics, and for the first time in a long time. The unemployment rate is down to 3.6% and the economy added 263,000 jobs in the month of April. And uh, oh so fresh, you were one of those jobs, weren't you? How was I added in the month of April? I I, I got a job a couple months ago. I'm still broke. Oh, well. I'm still fucking broke. (laughs) It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how many fucking jobs are available. I'm still fucking broke. and you, you know, know what? And you know what? And, and hold on, I'm paying more for shit because there's tariffs on shit. There really yeah. is. But yeah. this is the lowest unemployment rate since 1969. Shouldn't we be excited about that? Yeah, I think we should be excited. But if people are underemployed. That doesn't matter much. Actually, you know what? They can't. They can't find enough people to fill these fucking jobs. Now we need immigrants. Fuck. <laughs> What well, does the Statue of Liberty sure. say? It says, give me your, 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 your tired, your, your, your something, your whatever. Hey, send over immigrants. I guess the president just says, make sure they are not Latino. Anybody else? Fuck it. <laughs> the, the Statue of Liberty should read, give me your minimum wage and let me lower it. Next up. Yeah. <laughs> Next up in entertainment, Mr. John Singleton has passed away. I don't even know what that guy did. You know what John Singleton did? John Singleton is the person who brought us the classic Boys in the Hood, Higher Learning, uh, Baby Boy. Um, if you watch Snowfall, he was a big, it, which is an excellent show, which is on right now. Well, it's not going to be on too much without him being on there. But um, uh, he, he's brought a lot of good projects to the forefront. Definitely put an eye on African-American life during the 90s and, and putting it in a positive light. Um, there's actually some stuff on his resume that I didn't even know about. The guy was a producer on Black Snake Moan, which is crazy. Hustle and Flow, Four Brothers. He directed Too Fast, Too Furious, which people will fucking hate the shit off. But we're not going to hold that against you, John. I mean, seriously. But uh, he did... Um, the only thing, the thing, there's a couple things I do have to hold against them, like being a director on Empire. I, <laughs> do you watch? You don't watch Empire, do you? 
No. It's 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 really why it's great to watch this horrible television. It is just it is just really. I mean, oh my God, there was I was watching Empire the other day, and the bitch quoted Bill Cosby. She said, "You remember that line? I didn't bring you in this world, but I'll take you out." She yeah. used that line, and I'm like, "That's not okay." Like Bill Cosby's in jail. You can't quote Bill Cosby. Is anybody <laughs> quoting fucking Ted Bundy? The fuck? I mean, <laughs> wow. The dude is. But I still do. I, I do sing an R. Kelly song from Every Night Again, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Next up in local news, what you got going on over there? I hear the weather's pretty crazy. You know, it, it, it Portland is lovely this time of year. Let me tell you why. Because we find out there's actually women here. Because fuck, during the winter, everybody's bundled up like fucking Eskimos. I'm surprised men are not, they're not like putting men in jail because god damn, there's a lot of flesh walking around here. All it takes is a little <laughs> bit of sunshine and, and, and you start seeing sundresses and the whole freaking deal. I mean, the girls get their Jerusalem cruisers going and it's it's fucking <laughs> going down right now. It is, it is like fucking watching Gladiator with all these fucking sandals fucking running around town. I mean, are you... Are, are you not entertained? <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, I, 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 don't, I don't see think it, he was wearing dudes, a sundress, though. Uh, what's that? I said, I don't think he was wearing a sundress, though, when he said well, that. Well, there's all the dudes that, that, that wear shorts 365, and they finally look appropriate now. I, I, I'm one of those dudes. Were you that dude in high school who always wore shorts, always flip-flops, too? I'm still that dude, still. To this day. I thought you were just really casual when you came by the house. I didn't know that that was yeah. like a thing for you. <laughs> Last but not least, we have now that's news, and you are not going to believe this. Apparently, there is a new pill out there, a new drug, as it were, from Thank You Big Pharma that allevi- alleviates the entire contagion element from HIV. Did you know that? I had no idea. Yeah. Not really, not okay. really an issue because I enjoy safe sex and I don't use intravenous drugs. So, um, yeah, but it's great to hear that. And if I, if I wanted to engage in some some gay unprotected sex, I'm sure that would be a real concern. Because <laughs> it just works on dude, men, right? They established right? this years ago. They established this years ago. You don't have to be gay to get HIV, my friend. You don't have to have gay, you don't have to be gay to have sex with a man either. <laughs> Having sex with a man does not make you gay. Just for the record, I just want I just want to let you know that. No, but <laughs> I don't, I don't know at what consistency it becomes a thing. But um, really, because the drugs the drugs just for men, isn't it? Yes, yes, exclusively for now. But I don't know if that if that means like it protects you from getting it as well or if it like you know hey i can still receive but i can't give you know it, it isn't it kind of scary that they can modify what's shooting out your penis with a right? drug that is yeah <laughs> that's just, a, that's, just yeah. that's a scary fucking concept like oh shit i mean can you take a pill and just have boy babies i mean what the fuck i mean really they're in your jizz juice I mean, they, they get, there's a drug that's fucking in your fucking jizz juice, and what happens? And what happens to all the HIV that you were about to excrete? <laughs> Do you store that up somewhere? Do you, you shit just it, out? it out? I mean, because it was you there. You just poop it out. That's it. You just poop. You just poop. <laughs> out, you poop out the HIV. So make sure you Clorox down the toilet when somebody comes over and and has a, a, a HIV sex with you. I, I'm just saying. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is this week's five minutes of fun. One, three, <laughs> five, five, five. Oh man! So you know, wow. uh, for me, I, I wow. always have to tell you stories about the the DJ profession, and it is uh, it's prom season. I did a prom last right. night. I was uh, in beautiful Astoria, you, Oregon. Oh, you went to prom last night. Yeah, I was in beautiful Astoria, Oregon. Now let me tell you, the last time I was in Astoria, I tried to go to the Goonies house. Dude, they they got a shitload of signs that stay that say "stay the fuck away." Oh yeah, because they sold it. They sold it a long time ago. I know they sold it a long time. And the people that live there are like, "Stay the fuck away." <laughs> Seriously, oh, yeah. they're not, they're not like, having dude, it, dude. They're not like, having that shit at I, all. I think you get a block away from the house, and they're like, "Dude, if you came to see the Goonies' house, you, we're we're gonna get you for fucking trespassing." 
I mean, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, get your old fucking VHS and fucking chill because you're not getting to see the fucking Goonies. They probably fucked it all up, too. Oh, I wouldn't doubt it. But, dude, I mean, what if you just, like, had a Bible with you and you go up and, like, you know, pretend to sell them some religion to check out the house? Have you heard about the good news? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then they'd be like, <laughs> yeah, uh, no. Hey, you know, I mean, <laughs> and, yeah, I'll play the race card here. Shit, I'm a brother up in fucking Astoria stalking around the Goonie house. That doesn't even sound right. <laughs> You're definitely going to jail for that. Yeah, That's, I guess I no can see like you that. know if they feel bu- break into electric boogaloo there, then they'd be like, "Oh, you got a reason to be here." <laughs> oh yeah, that makes perfectly good fucking sense. But nah, for you to come see the Goonies, there weren't any black people in the fucking movie. How do you like <laughs> you like that? It was not directed there wasn't? by. There is I no. There was one. There is no black people in the whole Goonies movie. And if you think there were black people in the Goonies movie, I suggest you give us a call. Give them the number again. 503-776-0167. I thought I thought there was one like token black kid in the crew. Was there a black kid in the Goonies crew? I th- I could have swore there was. Let me look I have it, no let idea. Let me look it up because someone you know, someone No, knows. no, I'm gonna look this shit up because you're out of your fucking mind here. Was there a black kid? I thought there was just an Asian kid. No, uh uh-uh. oh. Oh maybe. Oh no, no. You're right. It it was the Asian kid. I'm thinking of the Asian kid. There's just, I mean, you get one minority, or he he wasn't on the cover. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nope, you're right. There was only, I was thinking of the Asian kid. That's the one. Yeah, I was yeah. You, you talk about N word in the in the in, in the wood pile. Yeah, he, he wasn't on the cover. If he was there. <laughs> now here's the. They even got the deform. I even see a picture with the deformed looking dude. Yeah, there's 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 there's, no, there's and you know what? I didn't see a lot of darkies in that story either. There were no fucking black kids at that uh, dance last night. Really? That's well. I mean, you know why that is? Because, because reasons. Because <laughs> reasons. Because they're not allowed af- out after dark. I don't even think Astoria doesn't have even have an airport, does it? No, they got a big ass bridge. They got a bridge that just looks fucking out of place. Like, <laughs> like that's a big ass fucking bridge for this little is town. It just- no, I, is it just I, the me? last time I was up there, is it I just t- me or does Astoria feel like you should be driving out to an island? Literally, it does. It, it, it does. It does feel that way. And I, like I like I said, I tried to hang out there a while back, a couple of years ago, and it was not. It was not the place to be. That's where uh, this dude drives around and like it's he hit this old black dude, the only black dude I ran to. This black dude drives around <laughs> in an Escalade with like some uh, uh, like disco lights in it. And you call him because they don't have Uber or Lyft out there. So you just call yeah. him and he'll come pick you up wherever and just run you around that story. And you like with Shut the, the fuck it, up. it, it no felt way. like being on fucking cash cab or something. Like <laughs> the shit was fucking ridiculous. <laughs> I was like, is this really happening right now? And the, the, the only problem was um, there was two problems that night. I, I could not get drunk enough and I, I could not find any good drugs. There we go. So, you know, that you can now, though. No, no, no. I mean, because there's strip clubs way too far out of the city center. Let me just tell you that. And the strippers are nice. They have, wait, they have a strip club? They have a strip club. I did not know that. Do you there's know the a name strip of it? club in Astoria. <laughs> so, when they turn you down going to see the goddamn Goonie house, you can go see some methed out Astoria ass broads. No, no, no. I, I mean, shout, shout out, shout out. But I mean, they, they, they're not giving out handies. So, it was not my favorite spot. But you know, I have Dude, been doing I have been doing a little traveling lately. Um and you know, the last couple of weeks I was uh, I, I was on a plane, but you know, I didn't and that brings me to our hot topic because I mean, if you if you listen to the show, you might listen to it while you travel. I mean, make sure you download this before they tell you to turn off your phone or put it into airplane mode. But I'm finding out that there's some problems with some of the most common planes that are in the air right now. So that's our hot topic today. Well, today we're going to talk about the a plane that you should know about, the 737 MAX 8. Now, this, this is a Boeing plane that's very, I mean, like, very, very popular. Like, if you've ridden on a plane, especially if your broke-ass rides on fucking Southwest, all they have is 737s. Now, they don't, not really? all of them are exclusive. All they- yeah, they, they only... That's it? Southwest only has maybe one or two types of planes because... It's easier for them to maintain one plane. 
having sure. to have yeah. like a full range of planes. Because you have to have uh, um, you have to have both. You have to have different mechanics, and different pilots, because it's different to fly every different plane. But well, yeah, it's like the, it's like just driving a car. Like every, you know, it's the same thing, but they're all different. The buttons are in different places. You know, the, the door locks are in different places. Shit like that. It ain't shit like driving a car. Hold on, I, I don't think you heard that. <laughs> it ain't shit like driving a fucking car. <laughs> you know what? Because really, when you go to rent a car, nobody gives you a fucking rundown. They hand you the keys. It is. Do not no, over. I'm saying, do not. I'm no, no, it's no listen to me. Do not oversimplify this man's job. They'll oversimplify a man's job by saying it's just like driving a car. It takes years of fucking training. I really and it, ta- it takes months and months of training to drive a car. What I'm saying is that all cars do the same thing, but there are different buttons and different ways to go about it. Is what I'm saying. Like they all, <laughs> airplanes fly, but there's different buttons and di- different th- throttle ratios. Yeah, to some make of, sure you don't fucking drive. Some of them flap their wings, and some of them just go zoom. <laughs> 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 fucking loser. <laughs> so. <laughs> So with the 737, the 737 has been a long running plane. It's been, uh, the, this plane has been around so long, like a lot of people that created the plane are dead. Just, let's just say it like that. And it's a fucking cash cow for Boeing, Boeing because it's, they, they make them cheap. They sell them cheap. I think a 737 is like 89 million. And like you want a 747, it'd be like 400 million. So, you know, there's, there's, there's a stark difference. And nobody wants to drive a fucking 747 because that's a lot. You know, I'm just going I'm just going from Portland to San Jose. There's no need to have a double decker plane for me and my family to get to San Jose. <laughs> but so what happened with the plane is Boeing, the plane was a little bit long in the tooth. And uh, one of the airlines came up Boeing and said, "Hey, you know what? We want that plane. We have a whole bunch of those. We like that plane. But you know what? We don't want to retrain our pilots to fly a new plane even though it might be the same size and everything but if it's a new plane it's a new plane and retraining our pilots that's a lot of money why don't let's just say you made an updated version and Boeing was like oh fuck we didn't know we were making an updated version but fuck if you want like 10 or 20 of them I mean shit Shit, at 89 million, motherfucker, hell yeah, we'll get you a few of those. <laughs> I got a couple of those. In fu- a few updates. I got a couple of those in fucking back. Well, what happened, what had happened was that <laughs> Boeing said, all right, we need to make this thing a little bit more fuel efficient. So you put bigger engines on it. Well, the 737 okay. is like a low rider of planes. Imagine being in L.A. next to some fucking SAs in Impala. That's what your, your, your uh, 737 sits like. Well, they said, well, fuck okay. it. We need to put bigger motors on it. Oh, well, they're going to scrape the ground. That's bad. I mean, if you don't know this, planes need a little bit of ground clearance to work correctly. Just just saying. <laughs> you think? Just saying. <laughs> Reason, let's blame that on reasons again. So... <laughs> they moved the they moved the the engines up a little bit, so it causes the plane to tip up when it takes off. So if the plane mm-hmm. tips up too much, the motherfucker's gonna stall. Yeah, right. So I, I stalling and I like how you like to relate this to cars because stalling in a car and stalling in a plane are two totally different things. One will get you a st- one will get you on the side of the freeway and maybe your car towed. One will get you dead. Once again. <laughs> That is not good. Actually, actually, fun fact. Did you know that airplanes glide? So if an engine stalls in the air, the airplane will glide until you can get the engine back out and uh, out and running. Airplanes are heavy and they only glide for so long. But if it stalls, if it stalls, if it stalls while it's on the incline, it puts the plane in a bad position. So what they did was they said, all right, motherfucker tips up. We'll just add a little computer to it and say, hey. Computer, when it tips up too high, <laughs> make sure it tips down. Well, he said, okay. add a little computer to it. <laughs> <laughs> this little, some little Texas instrument fucking calculator. <laughs> it, put a little bit, it put a little piece of Velcro on the dash. <laughs> Texas instrument calculator. Or it might be a speaking spell. I don't know. 
<laughs> they put that motherfucker on the dash, and it said, "Hey, when people were flying, like the Ethiopian flight that went down about a month, month and a half ago, and mm. they were flying, and they, the plane, they were flying, and they were flying like normal." Right after takeoff, and the plane said, "No, my nose is up." And it's like, "No, your nose isn't." And the the pilots are fucking fighting with the fucking plane to keep it up. And you could, I saw a graph where they you could see the plane like dipping. It looked like it looked like a it looked like a fucking mountain range. The plane just kept dipping and going down. They could not pull it out. Pull out game on week like George Foreman. <laughs> five kids named George. Anyway, pull so out what, game. So what was pull, basically? Pull out, so the the 737 Max 344 planes are grounded because they have weak pull out pull out game. So basically what was happening what was happening with these planes is no matter how much the pilots would pull up the computer would say my nose is vert- is going vertical and we're going to stall and so the more they adjusted to pull up the harder the plane would pull down. Yeah. And obviously obviously when shit like that happens in midair, see Oso oh Fresh's opening comments. You know, you stall in midair, you're gonna crash, and hopefully not in the side of a mountain range, which was, you know, not really a good thing to have happen. Well, but they didn't. They, land- did, they didn't crash into a mountain range. I'm saying it looked. But if you watch the graph of the the plane, the 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 out the the way the plane was directing itself. The plane was yeah. going, the, they were, I mean, it's like one of those Bugs Bunny cartoons where they're pulling all the way back on the wheel, but the plane is still going down. It's kind of <laughs> some shit like that. They got gremlins, sounds fool. Like, sounds like a James Bond movie. But no, wasn't, wasn't there a dude just recently who like crash landed in one of the Florida rivers? So there was a plane that crashed in Florida and it was not a 737 Max. And I think I'll wrap it up on this because the, 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 the main deal with the 737 Max thing is, like, do you even know what fucking plane you're getting on? Do you even fucking think about it? They take, they give you all this information. There's a there's a brochure right in front of you when you sit down on the plane. They make sure that it's fucking there. And you have no fucking idea. So you could be on the Yugo of fucking planes. And that mother, or, or, or Fiat. It could be the Fiat of planes. Old Fiat, even new Fiat. Fix it again, Tony. You know what I'm saying? That shit. You could be on that fucking plane and have no fucking idea. So I think I'm just letting you know this so you could be a little bit more conscious about it. Now there was a plane that went down in Florida and it crashed into it, it crashed into a body of water. Now everybody survived. Now I'm not gonna go into the details of that because you got Google. Anyway, so the story I read yesterday that I shared with my co-host here was damn some pets died all the people are okay but damn some pets died that fucking sucks that's fucking national news where's the crew for fucking 60 minutes and on that note oh so you already know so we're about to get the fuck out of here it's about that time to go we're gonna leave you on a depressing note just because oh so has to go to work hold on buddy so, this week I learned something new. <laughs> I learned when shopping on eBay and also on Amazon, because I've, I've had disappointments from both uh, as of late, that um, you should read the full description. Because in my quest for a Radio Shack talking watch from the 80s, which was the best thing ever, I'm finding that I bought one that was already broken and barely tells time. And Because um, it's from the 80s. It's from the 80s. And I'm disappointed. And you know what I, I would like to do? I'd like to blow that motherfucker up for fucking taking my goddamn money. That's 17 fucking dollars. Also, I bought some... Um, also, if you're an iPhone user, or actually uh, even any even an Android user has a USB-C. So, um, also, I went on Amazon and I bought the, the attachment that goes into the phone where it's like, hey, here's the... Here's the charge port, and here's the headphone slot, right? Uh Uh-huh. This motherfucker right here is dual charge port, but one is just marked headphone slot. So so I still need the same goddamn (laughs) revert. Thanks, thanks, Jeff Bezos. Fuck you. Oh, hey, Alexa, tell Jeff Bezos, fuck you. She ain't even listening to you right now. I'm not going to tell you. 
Oh, I'm not even going to tell you how I feel about that because, you know, I'm just going to go with what I learned today is don't ever let Oh So Fresh do your online shopping. We're just going to go with that. I'm glad you learned something today. And I have one more lesson to teach you. Because I am the, the guru, the master of disaster. Yeah, you are. And you the like head, to fuck shit up. The head motherfucker in the house of pain. That's me. And the, yeah, so and the head motherfucker Hold in on. the hype podcast. This is the hype podcast. I'm DJ Oso oh Fresh, and that motherfucker right there is who? I am the host with no name, and we are kicking it with you every single week right here on the hype. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash the hype podcast, or shoot us a call, 503 776 0167. Tell us about your feelings. And you know who else you should call? I mean, especially if you if you own some property, hey, props to you. Give you an explosion. But if you also are looking for a place to live, you should get in touch with Fortress Property Management. That's 503-752-8519. Proud sponsor of the Hype Podcast. And you know, it's also, when you're on Facebook, you should go to Fortress's Facebook page because they have something called Fortress Friday, where our friend Aaron, with one A, because he doesn't even have a fucking nickname, so you have to call him Aaron with one A. Or, or actually, <laughs> sometimes you can just call him E R I N because he does some bitch ass shit. No, <laughs> check him out. Fortress Friday every Friday at noon. He takes all your questions on being a resident or being a property owner. You can't beat that. This is the Hype Podcast. What's your name over there again? I'm the host with no name, fool. You don't got no name, stupid. <laughs> we out. Oh. Fuck it. We'll do it live!